Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Paul Wallace. I'm a, I'm a trader and coach, and uh, Moose and the team have invited me uh, to come here and have a little conversation with you about the, uh, particularly the dollar index and the uh, American indices. So if you look at my uh, first chart here, uh, I was here about a, a month or so ago, and we looked at the, the dollar index, and uh, you can see that on that chart. My talk was that you know uh, um, this was a you know a bit of a sort of a, a medium term plan for me that I felt that there perhaps might be a, a head and shoulders pattern starting to to build on the dollar index and uh, you can see there we're slowly but surely sort of trundling our way up to that sort of region. I was looking around that sort of 96.50, 96.80 region. Hopefully seeing the you know, price move towards that area and then once price got there, well then invariably I'll be looking for sort of bearish rejection patterns and if, if they were to uh, show up, then I'd be looking to establish a sort of a short dollar uh, position. Now, of course, you know, uh, what, I, uh, what I like to see happen and what actually happens can sometimes be very different. But I find that having a, a plan in front of me, that actually helps me in terms of my own sort of longer term trading and uh, investment. Moving on, then uh, we'll look, I thought we'd have a little look at the U.S. indices. So I appreciate this is a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a sort of a busy chart, shall we say. And what it is, is just, uh, it's just a, you know, quick snapshot of the four major U.S. indices. All right. The top left, I have the, uh, the Dow. The top right, I have the, the Russell. Uh, the bottom right, I have the Nasdaq. And the bottom left, I've got the S&P 500. That's all on a, a weekly basis. And you can see the kind of correlation that's been on there between them. We've had that really sort of uh, that drop since around about September, October of last year. Then, of course, we've had the, the rally since the sort of uh, end of last year into uh, the last week or two. What kind of I'm interested in is to sort of see where the, the sort of the leaders and the laggards there. And, and, in, and in my own view, my own view, the, you know, the Dow has been the, the leader looking at that. It, you know, it came back up and rallied through 24,000, rallied through to sort of 25,000. If you look at there, it's above the sort of the red 50 period uh, moving average, which is something I kind of uh, use as a, just a, a very simple, simple indication of, uh, of fair value. OK. So with that, as I said, the Dow has been the leader, but, you know, I look across uh, and the, the Ru Russell has been the sort of the laggard. The Russell's there. It's just uh, living a little bit slower than the other three indices. It's uh, up to uh, around about the 50 percent retrace of that move, if, uh, if that's your kind of thing, around about that 1500 level. But actually what I'm looking at at the moment overall is uh, really just trying to understand, you know, this is a bit of a, what I would see as, a, as an inflection point. Now, uh, what I would suggest is that, of course, you know, this is we're coming in here to the Friday trading session. These these weekly candles for this week, they have not yet completed yet. We can already start to see a, an element of uh, a rejection at particular zones and levels. And let's have a little look at that in a uh, in a closer uh, in a closer manner. So for moving uh, on here, then, uh, you know, what of uh, what we've got here is the uh, S&P 500 chart on the on the weekly basis. As I said, you can see that it's it's rallied up there and it's it's rallied up to that sort of 50 period moving average. And uh, well, you know, what I said is that the Dow managed to sort of, you know, sail through that and get above it. But the S&P 500 has uh, has struggled a little bit there. OK, it's there. It's been rejected off it. And as I said, I'll be waiting to see how this uh, how this closes today after the end of uh, today's trading session. For those of you who are interested in Fib retraces are in that region of around about the 62 percent retrace. So what I'm actually looking forward to see is, you know, does actually price bounce off here? Will price actually reverse and maybe maybe move down? And so on a sort of a short term sort of swing trade, that would give me a sort of of a, uh, a nice opportunity for a let's say a shorter term swing trade but also you know that might be an opportunity is you know is that the end of a uh, of a rally in a in a bear market and if we move on to a final chart which is the uh, is the nasdaq on the weekly you can see that pretty much it's it's a similar it's at a similar point i think it's a, a bit of an inflection point it's up there around about the sort of 7000 uh, region once again it's you know this week it's bounced off that weekly 50 period moving average and i'll be waiting to see how does the uh, trading carry on throughout this afternoon's uh, us session you know how do we complete you know, I'm always interested to see how markets complete and close on a weekly basis. And then from that, I might start to look to sort of see if I can uh, start establish a, uh, a short position. I hope you found that useful. Best of luck in your own uh, trading and investment. And I'll uh, speak to you soon. Many thanks.